Welcome to Customizing BricsCAD. My name is Ralph Grabowski, and it's my pleasure to show you how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. In the good old days of 2D drafting, there was just one view, the plan view. But now with 3D modeling, we have six different sides to every object, and viewing them can be a bit tricky. Originally, CAD vendors gave us the viewpoint command. We got to be able to type in three different coordinates, X, Y, and Z, to give us the viewpoint, and usually ended up with something that we didn't want. The next step was real-time viewing. Now this was a real boon, because you could interactively see what the model looked like second by second as we turned it around. But there, for some reason, whenever I did it, the drawing would end up upside down. So that wasn't great either. Now with version 15, Brixis gives us the look from widget. Then it lets us see models from the standard isometric viewpoints, plan views, and so on instantly. Now the first thing a 2D CAD user is going to say is, how do I get rid of that widget? It's blocking my view. Simple. You right click it, choose dismiss. Now when you want to bring it back, because you're into 3D modeling, you press Control shift l or you choose the view and look from, or else you can use the look from command and turn it on. So that in a nutshell is how look from works. In the next part, I'll teach you all about the settings. change the way look from widget works, you right click the widgets and then look at the various options. The very first one is where the widget's located, which corner of the drawing area. So you can have in the left front piece, uh, corner or say bottom right or else uh, put it back into the default of uh, top right. Next option is called twist mode and uh, that one lets you twist them all around. Uh, just like in the old days when uh, you used the real-time constrained sphere and, uh, and uh, fortunately there's this uh, twist home button that brings the model back home again. I prefer isometric mode. Here you can have the view rotation relative to the world coordinate system or whatever the current user defined coordinate system is. And then finally the settings dialog box. Here's a bunch of more options. Some of these we've already seen. This one turns the control on and off. This one determines which corner you want it in. Uh, this one's kind of handy. It changes how intense it is, the uh, transparency. So you can change it to 100 and then it's a lot more prominent. Or you can uh, change the, say, down to 10 and it's barely visible. I like the 50. It's a nice in-between number. Once again, uh, the orientation, world or user coordinate system. This option determines where uh, the little uh, tips are that tell you which the current view is going to be. Uh, you can turn them off, have them as tool tips as we've been seeing, or else you can have them on the status bar. Here's what it looks like when it's on the status bar. So I've got the uh, top front left view here on the look from widget and down on the status bar, it's telling me what that's going to be. Quite frankly, I prefer the tool tips because that's where I'm looking right now. I want to be able to see it. The last option uh, is uh, zoom extents and it determines what happens when you uh, do one of these view changes. Um, if it's off then the view change occurs without a change in zoom level. However when this is on then BricsCAD will redraw the object so that its, its extents fills the drawing window. I've left this last uh, option here, look from direction mode, because it's pretty, uh, can be a bit trickier. Uh, right now we have this thing called 14 directions. Um, to show what the effect is, let me switch to orthogonal view, six directions. And that's the six standard views you get of an object. Front, back, top, bottom, left, right. So when you click on these, that's what you get. When you click on the in-between arrows, nothing happens. So you only get the six standard views. Now there's the top view. How do you get the bottom view? To do that, you hold down the control key and then click. And there's the bottom view. All right. So let's go into look from settings and change this to uh, the most complex one, 26 directions. And you can see that now there's a whole bunch of possibilities of views. 
let's see how those work. Okay, so here we have the left view. And if we go halfway between the little arrow and the home position, we can then get this sort of in-between view. And we can go all the way around doing that. Once again, holding down the control key gets you the bottom view. And similarly, holding down the control key and being in between these two places gets you the bottom side views. And that's how you get uh, a total of 26 views. Yeah, so this uh, look from widget is probably one of the niftiest new things found in BricsCAD version 15. I trust you enjoyed learning how to make BricsCAD work the way you work. For more on customizing BricsCAD, check out the ebook. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.